What up? Welcome. Mm, yeah. I saw Across the Spider-Verse last night. Oh, I saw it on Friday. Yeah? Yeah. Should we spoil it? Should we talk about it? Yeah, man. Did you like it? Uh, yes. I. So, I haven't seen a movie on, like, opening day in mm. a really long time. Mm-hmm. And there were, like, a lot of... Spoilers it, for this movie, by the way. I'm not going to spoil anything. I mean, we can. We can talk about things. Yeah, it's a uh, Spider-Verse. Yeah. Um, I want to go see it again mm-hmm. because Same. I just want to... I, I really want to, like, own it so I can pause it and look at all the different Spider-Men and mm-hmm. then try to figure out, like... Who's who. Who's who. And also, like, there's bubbles that pop up. And, yeah. Like, Some it, of them go by really quick. They go real quick. Did um, you? Did you have the issue... I I noticed this and then I forgot about it because it got better. But then I read a thing that had it. Did you have issues hearing the dialogue at the beginning of yes. the movie? One. It's apparently a thing. There's like a there's some setting that that projectionists have been told to do yeah. and they're not doing it. Okay, and it only somehow affects the beginning of the movie. Okay, but it's like a known thing. And it's yeah, nationwide. I one hundred percent noticed that. Yeah, I'm like, I ooh, this and, is real bad. Yeah, and I was like, oh, what the heck is this going to be like this? And then I just sort of forgot about it because then it wasn't like that. Yeah, but yeah, apparently it's like a thing. I think, and I they know it about it. And to somebody, yeah, I'm like, yeah, the beginning, the the dialogue was really quiet. Yeah, um, but th- there there were immature kids, mm. or at least mm-hmm. my assumption there that were like saying things i couldn't understand what any of them were saying correct i got freaked out at one point five people left at the same time oh and from random areas Hmm. and i'm like that's really strange yeah and then i was just like waiting for them to come back and then they came back it's like okay (laughs) it wasn't like a bomb yeah there was the so i went to like a 9 40 showing last night yeah which I was tired. I had a headache. Like I shouldn't, you know what I mean. But I, I, I was, I was also looking at my schedule for the next like two weeks. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to see this movie, yeah. otherwise. So, um, uh, so that like kind of ate into it. Like I was just tired and whatever. Like so that, and it's a long movie. Oh yeah. So that was a little bit of like, it hampered my enjoyment a little bit, but not because of the movie, just because of my own circumstances. But also had some dumb teenagers, mm-hmm. like making noise and like doing things and whatever and, um. There were, there was really weird. There were these like two teenage boys in the row in front of me and it's the theater I was at. Like I was all the way against the wall, but then they have like this thing in front where like no one can sit. Mm -hmm. And so like the next seat in the row in front of me would have actually been like two seats over. Yeah. So I like could see this kid pretty well Yeah. and, or these two kids and like they were just on their phones, like a whole bunch, which, you know, it's fine. Like it's before the movie. Okay. Then like the previews come on and like they're still on their phones. I'm like, are you guys gonna like get off your phones like for this movie? And then the one kid like kept like very obviously like turning around. And it, what he was looking at, what I thought was like the other teenagers that were in the back. Yeah. And I was like, is he trying to see like if he knows somebody or like does he know them? And he's just like looking at them. But I'm like, you're very obvious, kid. Mm-hmm. Like I think you think you're trying to be not obvious, but you're very obvious that you're like up and turning around. And blah blah blah. So anyway, so then like as like the second preview starts. I see him like lean over and like talk to the other kid and then they just leave. They're just gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know where they went. I didn't like bother to look. I think they like left the theater. Yeah. And then these like, then this other couple came in and like sat in those seats and I think those were their seats. <laughs> it was weird. Okay. And then also about t- maybe 20 minutes into the movie, all of a sudden I noticed like something's happening in like the front row mm-hmm. and it was one of those things where like people sat in the wrong seats kind of thing. 20 minutes into the movie. Yeah. Okay. And the usher, I think because then somebody went and got an usher and then the usher's down there and like he's dealing with that. And it, it was like across multiple rows and across multiple sides of the theater. And at one point I heard like it's hard not to like once mm-hmm. you notice it, then you can't not yeah, notice yeah. it. And I'm like, but I want to pay attention to the movie. But also like human drama is happening right in front of me. <laughs> and at one point I heard him say like, I don't want to do this any more than you guys want me to. But like we got to get this figured out, which is right. Like. Yeah, people, you pay for an assigned like I that's think the that, whole point. Just yeah, yeah. sit in the assigned seat. I don't think anyone cared in my theater because, like, I, I checked. There was supposed to be somebody sitting right next to me. Uh-huh. There wasn't. Uh-huh. The row in front of me was supposed to be sold out. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, and I'm just well, like, so that was the other thing because I, I only bought my ticket like last evening mm-hmm. for the nine forty showing. Uh, I probably bought my ticket around like five thirty. Yeah, um, and 
it was pretty well sold out. Like I, the seat I got was kind of like the only seat that I would want to sit in. I didn't want to sit in the middle of a row of a bunch of people and mm-hmm. whatever. I wanted to be like on an end. And even like the pre-credits thing, like that most movie theaters do, like the they have like that 15 minute little thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, like just like, like newbie, newbie. Yeah. yeah, Like those kinds of things. Yeah. 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 Where it's like, here's some behind the scenes and here's an interview and here's some trivia and here's this and whatever. So even like during that, um, there's like nobody in the theater. I'm like, this is supposed to be pretty well sold out. Like there was only like a handful of seats. Like, is this, and it did, it did fill up, you know, but again, like where did those boys go? And like, what was the deal with all those people in the front? And like, why did no one sit? I think what happens is, is that one group sits in the wrong spot. Yeah. And then the next group, instead of saying, hey, you're in my seat. They're just like, whatever. They're just like, matter. whatever, I'll take some other empty seat or whatever. But like, people, <laughs> it's not the way this works. Like, yeah, yeah. sorry. You know, if you if you bought your tickets too late and you don't get to sit where you want or you don't get to sit with the people you want, sorry. Yeah, yeah. But that's how it is. So, yeah, but I would like to see it again to be in a better frame of mind mm-hmm. and hopefully a better experience. Also try to catch more things. Uh, again, it's gorgeous. Just like the first one, like yeah. visually stunning. Did, did you know immediately uh, that that at at the end the twist? Yes, did the twist. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew it as immediately as, too. Well, when they said it, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they when the when the thing goes Earth forty two, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's not that's not it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, I knew that exactly. I, I I was I was with Caprica, uh-huh. um, my daughter, and I'm like. I, like I was telling her because obviously she had no idea. Yeah, there's a and, lot, and and they are totally like portraying it one way. Sure, but if you just pay attention, you know yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Th- they're not. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, and then I I I figured the 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 other twist with the uncle. Oh, mm-hmm. that's like oh yeah yeah no I got that too, but now we got to wait until March 2024. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. And we I'm waited like, like what five years for this one was it five years i think so I Four it, was, or five. it was supposed it's to come out last october yeah caprica has been reminding me it's like yeah. it was supposed to come out last october <laughs> but they lied that's funny <laughs> it's like they didn't lie they just pushed it back yeah like that's what it was supposed to but she wants to see every every single preview every single preview that that showed uh-huh. it's like i want to go see that i want to go see that i want to go see that so the I previews i got are the marvels which i do want to see and, but we didn't we didn't get that the new teenage mutant Ninja turtle movie I which i do want to see actually also the thick what do you know what the the most intriguing thing i want to i wanted to see about that movie is uh no the soundtrack uh-huh. is by trent Reznor. oh yeah and, yeah, yeah. and yeah. atticus ross i did and, see that yeah i was gonna send you I'm a just, thing about that i'm like Ninja Turtles, uh-huh. and that I'm like that'll be yeah. interesting. And then what was the third one? Oh uh, no, what was the third one? Blue Beetle. No, or the Flash. It wasn't either one of those. Yeah. The the, those it? two were on mine, and she wants to see both of those. Is there another Marvel thing? Mm, no, there was Elemental. No. Elemental. That was the yeah, other one I got. She wants yeah. to see that. Um, just every movie, and yeah. it's like. I have the unlimited thing uh-huh. and she's like, Oh, it's oh, like, and look, Oh, that and that and that. And it's like, Oh, oh those, that comes, comes out the same day as this other thing. So mm-hmm. like, Oh, we'll have to like, we can go in the morning. And then go in the yeah. afternoon. I'm like, you got your summer planned out every weekend. I like going, going to the movies personally. Oh yeah. I mean, as I said, I, I got the, the unlimited pass. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm going to go see movies. I want to go see boogeyman. I don't want to, yeah, no. it's a, it's a Stephen I've King seen film a preview for it, but yeah. Like I saw it and I'm like, oh, that'll be cool. But then it's like from Stephen King. And I'm like, oh, now I really want to go see it. Because like the last Stephen King film, which came out last year, which, uh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't Stephen King. It was his son, uh, Joe Hill, mm-hmm. I think. It was uh, the Black black Phone. Oh, uh, yeah. Black. Is that what it is? It I, it might be. It's Ethan not... Hawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got the like mask thing on in the yeah thing. yeah i did i wanted to see that too and it's I it's never... a it's a good film okay. but like it's not like oh my god it's amazing everyone yeah. to see it. it's it's a weird film but yeah. like i i i paid for this thing so i'm like i'm gonna go see these movies yeah so boogeyman i'm gonna go see barbie why not oh yeah i'm gonna go see uh little mermaid it's already out mm-hmm. um so i already i gotta i, I, I don't have to i'm not up. as jazzed about little mermaid we're doing it as our musical next year yeah, so like i'm excited about doing that but i don't know I can wait on. Yeah, I'm not excited about another Lin Manuel Miranda rap. Oh, is he? Did he do? Did he add a song? You haven't heard of Scuttlebutt? 
No. It, here's here's what's like really – so we, we were talking about it, um, me and a couple students, mm-hmm. and, and they were like, it takes place in the Caribbean. It was like – like the original. No, it doesn't. That I know. I know it doesn't. <laughs> but they were like, it takes place in the Caribbean. I was like, no, it doesn't. It's like, it takes place in Spain. No, it doesn't. It does. It does? Yeah. No, it's... Like off the coast of Spain. But Hans Christian Andersen is from... You're right, but it's not. Like Denmark. I, I looked it up. Oh, okay. Because I was like, you'd think it was it was there, but it's not. Okay. Um, and they're like, but the guy's got a Jamaican accent. I was like, yes. They gave him a Jamaican accent so they could do a Jamaican song. Right. <laughs> or, or Calypso yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like, that's the only reason that's there. And then they're like, well, we want to keep that, but we want to make it more diverse. So let's put it in the Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah. Which is which is awesome, mm-hmm. but it's just like you did this one thing that was kind of questionable. Yeah. Well, it also makes it. This is the hard part now. So like, we're doing this as a musical next year. Yeah. <laughs> Does Sebastian have to be Jamaican? Like, oh. well, have he, you he have he you shouldn't. seen it any other way? The only other t- yes, well, sort of yes, I have seen it other ways. Well. But yeah, remind me. But then people get weird and whatever. There was a lady when I went and see when I went and saw um, Mario last week. Mario, um, which that movie was fine. It was all right. I don't know if we talked about it. How did you like the needle drops? They were too much. (laughs) Okay. Um, And his his slogan is not "Mamma Mia." (laughs) I know stop saying it it's yeah. it's a me a mario yeah. or like woohoo um but yeah the movie was fine but anyway there was a a preview thing for little mermaid and some lady in my theater was like she doesn't even look like ariel and i was like oh my god it's like what does ariel look like well from the 90s movie she looks like that it's like you're right she but doesn't that's... look like that because also thing one is that was a cartoon right and this is live action yeah it's like, oh, but she's, she's not be. white. And it's like, okay, okay. so let's like do this. Let's think about it. Where are they from? It's like, well, it's the Caribbean. It's like, so if you were born underwater <laughs> in the yeah. Caribbean, what would you look like? Yeah. Well, first off, you'd probably have gills. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, like, so oh, neither things. one of them looked like that. Yeah, it's dumb. How are they breathing? Are they fish? What is a fish? <laughs> cool. What do we do here? We talk about two tunes. Did we introduce ourselves? It's been twelve no. minutes. I'm Bo. Brandon. And this is Two Tunes Podcast where we talk about two tunes. And I track Snapchat. And talk about a whole bunch of crap. Man, Snapchat is so 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 two thousand early two thousands. Mm. And then I remember when Snapchat video came out. Oh, like that you could do Like videos? when they updated that and then I like I recorded my friend and he's like Snapchat video. <laughs> amazing it was so dumb anyways we talk about two tunes and mm-hmm. you're gonna go first this time for reels this yeah. time so this covers episode now we're gonna switch everything up we haven't done one in a while yeah, it's been 10 10 12 that's, that's about what we wanted to do about every 10 yeah it, it fits yeah it hasn't been like oh it's been 20 episodes yeah um i do not know where i found who's episode 120 this particular cover from um but it's a band called branches who are harmony driven indie rock from four friends who have been through a thing or two together making music to sing with rooms full of nice people along the way. That's from their website. Uh, says they split their time between LA and San Francisco. Um, they said their, their collaborative process is a lot like long distance dating. In their case, absence makes the heart grow fonder, more inspired and a little too familiar with the 413 miles of road that often lies between them. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but this is their cover of the darkness is, I believe in a thing called love. Have you seen that? He has a, um, Justin, whatever. Justin Hawkins. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Rides again. He's got a YouTube channel. Nope. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. 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 I forget. I don't, like I said, I don't know where I found this. Uh, this is off of, Ooh, 24. This is from 2014. They did a covers. It says single, but it's three tracks. So they did this, they did just one look, and they did somebody to love. Okay. So here we go. Here we go, indeed. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, Mumford and Sons. Yeah. Like it, it gets, it has that vibe. Yeah. 
My heart's in overdrive and you're behind the steering wheel. Country. Folky. Yeah. Touching you. Touching me. I like, so the, the, there's a couple trends with covers. Yeah. You take the fast, quick song and you like slow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's going on here? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, crap. I, I had to restart it. <laughs> it was doing weird things. That oh, was I, weird. It was. Did we just like glitch in the Spider Verse? <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> That's like what that felt like. It did. Anyway, so there's like two trends. One is you take the fast, quick song and you slow it down. And the other is you take the slow song and you speed it up. Right? Yes. This splits it splits the difference. It makes it softer, but this is it's like... It's softer, but it's still driving. Like, it still moves. Yeah. You know what I mean? They should do a... Uh, what, what, what do the drums do in this? We're going to find out. Do they go... Well, first of all, we get some banjo. But it's probably the same tempo as the original, right? But it feels... You know, obviously the acoustic feels it pulled back a little bit. I don't know. I really dig it. I like to switch to the other singer as the main. Touching you. Touching me. Touching you. I touch you. I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. There's a chance we can make it now. We'll be rocking till the sun goes down. I believe in a thing called love. Yeah, I don't have like a ton to say about it. It just feels good. Works. It's a cover. Yeah, I listened to the other two covers. This is my favorite one of the three that they did. I am intrigued to listen to more of their stuff. I will say I have not done that yet. Okay. But if this is their sound, then I'm into it. I once arranged this for uh, Sax Quintet. Yeah, just straightforward, but like done in their style. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like about it. I like it too. Very cool. Yeah. I want to listen to more of them. You should. I will. <laughs> Good talk. Um, yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. Before we move on. So I said, I don't have like a ton to say about it. It's just, it's just good. Okay. I'm going to talk about Dan Mangan. People should Mangan. do more, more covers like that. Dan Mangan. Dan Mangan. <laughs> it's just Mangan. Yeah. Mangan. Probably Mangan. Mangan. Yeah, it'd be really weird if it was Dan Man Gain. <laughs> um, they're Canadian. Mm-hmm. They're in between our ages. Mm-hmm. Born in 83. So my age. Are you born in 83? Yes. I don't know. Are you 40 yet? Not yet. Oh, soon. Your friend's going to take you out. Too soon. Like tomorrow? June? July? December. That's not too soon. That's really far it's away. too soon. Is it Christmas Day? No. Okay. I may kwanzaa slash boxing day baby okay so the 26th Mm -hmm. there you go um i i just re-realized that uh i i i've heard this person before so they have an album called club meds okay um with blacksmith okay and i've i have it i just probably haven't listen to it enough uh this person canadian um extensively has won two juno awards those are like the grammys of canada Mm -hmm. 
um, and has scored some feature films as well as television for Netflix and AMC. He's a co-founder of Side Door. Ooh, I know what Side Door is. Side Door is amazing. So, um, Side Door Podcast? No, no, no. Side Door, uh, um, a marketplace platform connecting artists with alternative venue spaces for in-person and online shows. So what, what Side Door is, is you can sign up for it and say, hey, I'm going to be it's alternative spaces, which means like backyards or like mm. subways or subways. <laughs> yes, those are two different things. Right. Um, so, like, if you're just like, oh, I want to play a show, or if you if you yourself is like, you know what, I want to have I want to have a show at my house, mm-hmm. but I don't have any any I don't I don't know who to, who to get, or I want to like support people who are going on tour. So I could like sign up and be like, I'm going to be in uh, Iowa City Mm -hmm. around this date. Anybody want to host me? Mm -hmm. And you could play a show. And and house shows are. I'm I'm learning all of this through um, uh, Ari Herstan's podcast. He he, he, like that's an ad on one of his things. Is Mm -hmm. is, this this episode is sponsored by Side Door? Yeah. Um. So it's an interesting alternative venue program that you you can sign up as like a host or right. you could sign up as like i'm looking for places to play in this area right, and they could right. be like hey uh, i you can play a show that day at, at my house or wherever it's bumble for shows sure <laughs> you're matching hosts with yeah artists. but dan mangan folky guy um I, I this is I have a list of of stuff that I like. That's a good cover. I mm-hmm. like that cover. I I've been lacking on my finding of covers. Yeah, or adding them to my two tunes podcast playlist. Mm-hmm. And this is off the album Thief. Speaking of yes, lacking on two tunes podcast playlist. Mm-hmm. At one point, I had a Spotify playlist going of all the songs that we have talked about. Oh yeah, yeah I did too. And then on, on that Apple. is yeah, it's gonna fallen by the wayside. <laughs> um. So this this whole album is cover songs. Ah. So uh, R.E.M., Cake, Neutral Milk Hotel, Elliot Smith, Robin, Lauren Hill, Bob Marley. What Lauren Hill song? Um, X Factor. Hmm. I wouldn't. I don't know, know that one. Yeah. Or I might know it if I heard it. But well, even like the Cake is is Love You Madly, which I'm like I don't know. Oh, my friend Mike would know it probably. Maybe. Um, but yeah. This is the first track off that record. By the way, there is a vinyl version of Sheep Go to Heaven that I'm trying to find. Okay. If anybody has a hookup, let me know. (laughs) A good cover song ought to sound as if the artist has connected to the beauty that exists in their chosen tune, spending time getting to know it, and then introducing it to some new peaks and valleys as it is made into their own interpretation. Thief, a collection of covers covers recorded over the the last decade mm-hmm. and the latest release of Canadian beloved Canadian's beloved Dan Mangan. Mangan. I don't know. Mangan. I'm, I'm gonna mess it up the whole time. Mangan. Holds true to what a worthy cover can be. There aren't just cherry picking tunes. They are songs that have held deeper meaning and weight for men. I think this like flows well with yours. Yeah, I was gonna say they're both just kind of like folk influenced covers. Of these but songs. I don't think that this does what you just said. Is like, oh, we're just gonna slow it down. No, it, it, it lengthens some things out. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. They both kind of. They don't really like slow it down, speed up. It's just like I'm just gonna do it in my own style yeah. kind of thing. The only real difference with this and with the branches one is like this guy's style if this is reminiscent of his style mm-hmm. is closer to rem's style. yeah yeah so it's not as drastically different yeah. which doesn't have to be it's definitely like his own that's thing. me in the corner that's me in the spotlight losing my religion trying Said enough. 
I like the use of doubling harmony mm-hmm. and and when they don't do that. Yeah. And his voice kind of has a Dave Matthews-ish mm-hmm. tone to it. Rasping a bit covered yeah. as well. Also has like ambiguous as to where they're from. I think yes. Dave Matthews says that as well. Like when you hear Dave Matthews talk, you're like, oh, that's that guy. That's that guy. Okay. You don't think South African. Yeah. Like this guy too. Like you said he's Canadian, but I would have yeah. guessed like Irish. Okay. Just the way he kind of pronounces some things. And maybe Mangan is Irish. Maybe he is like maybe, you know. But I but maybe he doesn't have like the thick Irish accent. I was going to say Irish brogue, but isn't it Scottish brogue? Yes. Can everybody have a brogue? What is a brogue? I don't know. We'll look at that. That was just a dream. That was just a dream. That's me in the corner. I may have found this That's from a TV show because he's worked with a lot of TV. Oh. Losing my it feels like a Grey's Anatomy would have it. Yeah. Oh. A dialect or regional pronunciation, especially an Irish accent. <laughs> That's funny. I feel like I only hear it, hear it used with Scotland, though. Yeah. Scottish brogue. I like that change. Mm-hmm. I think it was too like bum 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 bum. Yeah. If it was original. But doesn't takes it away, yeah. which is just as fun. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's a nice cover. Did you listen to the others? I forget if I asked. I have you. not. Oh, okay, I've not listened to more of it. I was, yeah, it's kind of a fast turnaround as far as like, oh, that song, and not really like listening to more. But I do because I like the style. Yeah. So, cool. it's very cool. What should people do to support this podcast? Post? They should, uh, well, tell, subscribe. If you're listening to it and you like this and you've made it all the way to here, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, on your podcast catcher of choice. Yes. And then if you like it even more, tell two people and tell them to tell two people if mm. they like it and so on and so forth. Um, do some multi level marketing if you want. Yes. <laughs> and then they'll pay you a dollar. Those, yeah. It'll just go up. It'll it'll yeah. come up. Um, and then if you like it even further or just want more connection, um, you can join our Discord or mm-hmm. follow us on Instagram mm-hmm. and Facebook group that mm-hmm. I, I, I've been slacking on because I was out of town for a very long time. Fair enough. So I should probably get back to that. Hey, I have a question for you. Yes. This came up on podcasts I listened to. Okay. I'm going to spell a word for you. Oh, no. And then I want you to tell me how many syllables that word has. Okay. C. You're writing yeah. this down. Yeah. R. I. S. P. S. <laughs> Crisps. How many syllables are in that word? Everyone should play along at home. So, like, I want to <laughs> say it's one, but it could be two. Uh-huh. Like, just crisps. But then that uh-huh. at the end. Right? It's like crisps. <laughs> yeah. Because Chris take the S off. Yeah, crisp is one. Yeah. And the S shouldn't make it more. Like dog. Dogs. Dogs. Dog is a <laughs> <laughs> fine. Whatever. Crisps. Yeah, it's weird, right? But you could also make the argument for like three. 
isps right if you like really slow it down well yeah but like you could you could do that like dog <laughs> dog <is> a, <laughs> yeah i just heard it on another podcast and i was like oh i'm gonna make bow okay I'm figure this out awesome crisps crisps Right, as soon up. as you you did the C R I, I'm like, is it crisps? <laughs> cool. All right, that's it. Yeah, that's our podcast. Okay, we'll see you next week. Bye. On one thirty one. Bye. Bye. Bye.